Welcome again, everyone. I'm here to talk about vitamin B12 and its relation with chronic diseases like heart disease, Alzheimer's, stroke, and osteoporosis. What I'll be discussing now is about the vitamin B12. You see, of all the B vitamins, vitamin B12 is the largest and most complex. And B12 is a water-soluble vitamin, which means that the body uses what it needs, but those that are not needed by the body are excreted through the urine. Now, vitamin B12 has an antagonistic relationship with an amino acid which is called homocysteine. Now, in 1960, this was found to be directly related to heart disease. During that time, it was believed that cholesterol is the cause of heart disease. But later on, it was found out that dietary cholesterol or cholesterol has no bearing on heart disease formation, but it was homocysteine. And this is the reason why B12 is very important to understand because when we have enough levels of vitamin B12, homocysteine is kept at bay, meaning to say the balance between homocysteine and vitamin B12 is a very important consideration. If you don't want to get sick of heart disease, of stroke, of osteoporosis, or of Alzheimer's disease. Now, of course, vitamin B12 has a bearing also on other diseases. For example, it was found out that to firm the relationship of B12 and homocysteine, a 1999 study up to 2003 was conducted among vegans. As we know, vegans, their diet is mainly vegetables. They do not eat meat of animals. And they found out that almost all vegans have very high homocysteine and they are susceptible to heart disease because of the lack of vitamin B12. You see, if we step back in the lane of history, in the early days when I was still small girl, I know that many people eat internal organs of animals, which are rich sources of vitamin B12. They would feast on beef liver, chicken liver, pancreas. They would eat on chicken hearts and even kidneys of certain animals. Some, they eat kidneys and liver of pork. Another benefit of vitamin B12 is it protects our DNA. The many antioxidants present in vitamin B12 keep safe the cells of the DNA from free radicals, thereby reducing the risks of chronic diseases. The other benefit is that B12 can also protect the body against free radicals from drugs like paclitaxel and anti-cancer drugs can lead to irreversible cellular injury. But when vitamin B12 is in your blood and it is in the right amount, then your cells are protected from damage due to the presence of certain synthetic prescriptive drugs. A 2018 study found that B12 reduces 
the toxicity of diuretic drugs. So it is very important that you have the right amount of vitamin B12 in your body, in your blood, so that if you are taking maintenance drugs, if you are taking diuretic synthetic drugs, then your cells will also be protected by the vitamin B12. The other benefit of vitamin B12 is that it also keep you to be healthy in the mind and keep your mood all right. What do I mean by that? You see, when you lack vitamin B12, depression could readily result. Seasonal affective disorder is also influenced by the amount of vitamin B12 that you have. Depression is a very lonely disease and we have to be sure that there is no trigger like the lack of vitamin B12 in our body. So if you have enough vitamin B12, this affects your brain health and your moodiness. Now, there is another benefit of vitamin B12, which is in the red blood formation. Circulating in our blood should be enough oxygen. But when we lack vitamin B12, the oxygen content in our blood can be reduced. And when oxygen in the blood is lacking, well, you know that it could lead to many chronic diseases. The second to the last benefit of vitamin B12 is protection to the eyes. You see, when you have enough vitamin B12 in the blood, eye diseases and disorders are kept at bay. For example, you can be free from cataracts, macular degeneration, retinopathy, and optic atrophy, and even glaucoma and other eye diseases with the presence of sufficient amount of vitamin B12. And the last benefit is in the fetus. You see, vitamin B12 shelter a fetus neural tube from defects. B12 plays a significant role in providing the proper shape of the baby's brain and the spinal cord during fetal development. B12 is connected with folic acid. You see, a pregnant woman is always advised to take folate or folic acid and folate and B12 are also related to each other. So I would suggest that you have to test your B12 in the blood, especially if you are not eating meat, if you are vegan or your dietary pattern is more of vegetables and fruits because B12 cannot be sourced from vegetables and fruits. As I've said, you can get them from internal organs of animals. If you cannot eat internal organs of animals, then you have to do B12 supplementation. But the supplementation should be quality dietary supplement. So you have to do a research on this B12 vitamins if you want to take dietary supplement. This is your sharing doctor, Dr. Daisy Tay. Thank you so much and may God bless you.